are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. Rocky here. Well, we have some news. We are moving in Brewix to Manchester, New York. And I did just now find out they have a children's hospital. Praise God they have one because I like freaking out. It's a small town. It's not like a big, huge town. So, um, the kids are at school right now. Praise God. Today was a good day for school. Woohoo! So the kids are at school. I am packing. I just made burr baskets for the kids for like when it's cold. Because in New York it is cold. So <clears throat> we just got a call from Triton. Or actually got a call from Lonzi. Uh, who was telling me that Triton <clears throat> said that it is New York we're going to be going to. And I started to freak out because I'm like, oh my god, where's the closest children's hospital? Because it's like, guys. When you have children with special needs, you have to have a children's hospital. You have to have the right, the right doctors, all those things you have to have. And our kids are, you know, they're special. They have to have the right doctors. So I freaked out. Everything's okay now. Now I'm packing a bunch of stuff because um, Triton owns U-Hauls like he does U-Hauls for people. So he, he owns them. We filled that thing this morning with a bunch of stuff. And, um... Justin drove it down to our place in New York that we now have. That was closed on. I'm just teaming a few of these shirts because Rich's shirts and also Lonzi's shirts because um, they have to wear shirts and ties and they work for, for um, IT. So um, Lonzi's gone to work. He just got done with a meeting. He's got one more meeting to go to. <clears throat> and um, Rich went and closed on the house. Um, little did I know we were going to have to move anyway because um, Rich had been looking at a house up there and we liked what we saw in case we were going to have to move because of um, their job. So, yes, their job is basically saying that, you know, when you work for corporate, which means you go to New York for corporate. So, we're headed to New York. <laughs> In three weeks. Um, I'm sort of freaked out because I have a lot of stuff to pack in the three weeks time. So I'm packing as much as I can possibly get in the day. We have a church function tonight. Um, Ezra has band after school, so he's going to stay until about 5. I'm going to go pick him up at 5, then we're going to go to church, have our function. Come home at about 6.30. And then Bree and a couple other kids have horseback riding. Yeah, that's going to be fun to try to fix that when we move. Mm, yeah. So a lot of our animals are going to be here still. Um, but our favorite horses and all that stuff are going to go with us. <clears throat> they have already been loaded on a horse trailer and shipped uh, or driven down there. Um, our friend David took them this morning. We'll fed up for sure. Anyway, guys, I'm just packing what I can now. David just left with the horses and the two cows we kept. <laughs> we kept only two. Actually, no, three. Three cows we kept. Mine, Lonzi's, and Rich's. No, four, because we kept Casey's cow. Casey and Tav's cow, too. So we have four cows. Um, What I like about the new place is the farm is further down. So I'm not here. <laughs> Everyone is waking me up. So I, I do like that part. Um, yeah, so that's always fun. Because right here, every time I wake up in the morning, I mean, Goliath, I love him, but he's loud. So, they, <clears throat> um, he's headed off with the a couple of chickens that we did keep. We didn't keep a whole lot of chickens because we just didn't. Jerry and Lisa have most of them. Jerry and Lisa are staying here because Jerry's stationed here. That's why they're staying. They didn't really want to stay, but he's stationed here um, for his job that he does. So, 
they have a few more of the chickens than we do. We only have a few of them. The great thing about moving is the school our kids are going to be going to is just like the one here. Triton is... He's been in New York a lot the last few months. He We didn't know why. Now we know. He a turd. He is plotting, which is what he does. Triton likes to plot. Um... Try, ooh, sorry. Double tap to open. Shut up, though. Try it likes to plot. I love my son. I do. But he likes to plot. And he likes to get things on his side, on his way. So, he uh, has been going to New York for the last six months. Four, four to six months. Um, he had a house of interest already. Humongous house. Right there on our same land that our house is on. Which is why he's like, you're going to move to New York. Guess what? You're staying in New York now. So, um, I sort of freaked out about that when he's like, what? I'm like, what? Why are you doing that, dude? But anyway. So, um, he's been scoping out like, school stuff. So, he decided to create his own version of what we have here. And that's what he's going to do. So, that's what he's doing. And we get to experience that with our kids. And we're dreading it because I don't know what they're going to do. And our kids are unpredictable at best. So, <clears throat> even though they're best day, they're unpredictable. So, I don't know what's going to happen right now. Um, Rich just came home from work and he's up when we pack stuff. My love is still working. His butt off. And <clears throat> so, the bad thing about all this is that we really need to take a personal quiet trip just you and I. Our anniversary is actual anniversary is coming up, our yearly anniversary on the 28th. But right now that trip is on hold because guess what? We're moving. Again. So um we we're gonna go <clears throat> on a trip um for like a day or two, just us. Um, because we needed a little time to ourselves, <laughs> just because, but that's not going to happen right now. Unless we can find full-time nanny help for a couple of days to watch the kids. Why would we do that? <laughs> so, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, not fond of what uh, Triton has done. I love my son very much, I do, with all my heart, but he is a sneaky little turd. And he's not thinking about his mom and his dad, but I mean, I get why he's doing what he's doing, but it still sucks, because now because of this, we can't go to where we're going to go. I mean, we could. And I don't know, because here's the thing, we have to fly, and we're in the middle of packing a big bunch of stuff, so it's like, Really okay. You gotta run our freaking private trip we're gonna take for our nursery. Nice job, dude. So I guess we're gonna go overnight and stay in Austin overnight on the 28th, which is our anniversary. So, <sighs> and uh, yeah. We were gonna do it today on the 10th, which is our actual wedding anniversary, but nope. It'll be on the 29th, uh, 28th, so we're going to stay overnight on the 28th in Austin and maybe stay a couple nights in Austin and come back home, finish the rest of stuff up, rush to, in, uh, to New, New, New York, rush to put things away, which actually David and his wife are being beautiful again, him and Elise are putting things away for us. When we get to NYC, or NYC, when we get to NY, we have plenty of time to just put whatever we don't get put away now. So, I'm just doing a lot of packing. Uh, Dee's been packing a lot of stuff. We just loaded the other motor, uh, motor, motor home. You haul it. So, um, Dee's brother Brad's going to take it and go down. And Bradley and his wife, Avi, Avi, Avi. Maybe. Ada are going to put things away. No, Sada, I can't talk. Are going to put things away for us, which I really appreciate. 
so that we don't have to do it later because I stress about that kind of thing and I get overloaded. So, yay, I'm back. Well, let me finish my lunch and I'll be right back, y'all. Oh no, what did I do with my phone? I don't know what I do with it. My camera phone. Oh, there it is. Oh, crap it all. Anyway, I'll be right back, y'all. Hey guys, so uh, we just got here for the EEGs. I got everybody ready for that. After I loaded the um, U Halto and the RV. So we're here. Get everybody's EEG done. I don't know how well that's going to go because, again, we have an issue with Noah. He doesn't like to get EEGs done at all. He hates them. So does Kyle. So I don't know how it's going to go. I really don't know. Um, so I'm kind of freaked out a little bit. But, you know, what can you do? But we're here. We are here, waiting for it to happen. Hi guys, I could not film in there. It was really difficult. Um, Noah did not do so well. He had a lot of problems. He was, you know, biting and hitting himself and everything else. They had to actually put him in the papoose to do his EEG. Um, Kyle was the same way. Lucas, or Luca did really well. Luca did awesome. He was crying at first. You know, he cried through the whole thing. I'm not going to say he didn't cry because he cried through the whole thing. But he did okay. Um, you know, it was just a really rough time for the rest of them. But Lucas did pretty good. Luca did pretty good. Um, I'm just sitting here waiting for them to bring the kids out. But um, Kyle and Noah did not do so good. And Jace didn't do good. It was really rough. Jace did better than the Kyle did and better than Noah did, but you know, Jace cried the whole time, but he didn't move once they had him calm, you know, enough to sit there. But guys, I'm gonna tell you, mom guilt sucks. <laughs> mom guilt's horrible. And I have had it. I have not guilt so bad today. So I'm sitting here in the car with my coffee waiting to um, get ready to go. We're going to go home and I'm going to get there <sighs> get ready, ready for church. We do not have horseback riding today. Praise God, I'm too tired to do it. Today's vlog will not be very long due to the fact that I don't have as much time to do a long vlog, but I will do what I can. Um, but it did, uh, Trent's EEG went pretty good. He cried a lot, but he did okay, but Noah, once they got him, you know, wrapped good, he was fine. He wanted his Laurie Berkner van played, so we did that. Um, but it was rough at first. So, Jace just cried the whole time. It was really hard on us with Chase, because Jace just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. So it was really rough. Um, so an update on the moving stuff. Um, Brad came and got Brad and his wife came and got the the other U-Haul um, trailer. They're off to New York. <clears throat> They'll be back um, probably the day after tomorrow um, with the stuff. I don't know what. Oh, they'll be back sometime. Um, like late tomorrow night or the more like. Late tomorrow night, or yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So I'm really tired, you guys. Seriously, I'm exhausted. I have a lot to do, a lot to pack for, a lot to get ready. I have to call the children's hospital. I have to organize all that. It's a lot, you guys, to remember with our kids. It's just a lot. So I'm just kind of sitting here looking at everything and all kinds of text from the pharmacy we're going to be using up there and just trying to get everything worked out so we can get the insurance transferred. Um, Dr. Gower Nathan is from New York, so he's going to just go ahead and go up there with us anyway. 
So, Dr. Cowan uh, told me today that they will be helping the meds out a little bit, but not a whole lot. So, that could be good news. Hey guys, I'm on my way. We're taking the kids to church. It is pasta night, uh, the last night of the vision conference. Um, <clears throat> we have our new church up in Manchester. We're going to go to uh, with our friends that live up there. You guys, I'm just going to tell you flat out. Today has been really rough. Um, you know, our kids cried a lot when it came to these EEGs. I mean, I understand they don't want to do them. I get it. I hate them too, but we have to do it. It has to be done. You know, got Dr. Gowan said it had to be done. Um, he's in with Dr. Foster, so he helps Dr. Foster, which is good. So, you know, we had to do what they said to do. <clears throat> So today's vlog is not going to be very long uh, because I'm sh I'm kind of strapped for time. I don't have a whole lot of time to really record a whole lot, so please pardon me. So we just got done with church. It was good. The food was awesome. Um, Kyle had a meltdown because there was no... Uh, certain there were certain foods he loves that they didn't have, so Rich went and was really sweet enough to go and get that for Kyle, so he's happy now. We are headed home, and the only thing I'm gonna say is we're gonna head home and put the kids to bed and go to bed because I'm exhausted. They're exhausted. It's been a long day. I've been up since 5 a.m. packing things, getting things ready to go on the on the U-Haul uh, because they said that had to be ready to go. So, Josh went with Brad and his wife to help because Josh can do that. Alex went with David and his wife to help. So, our kids are helping us with all this. This is not something we ask our kids to do. They chose to do it. Um, they're actually, some of them are excited about doing this. Some of them are excited about being wrong, but Some not so much, but some are. Um... So we just gotta give the others time to process it and all that. You know, give them time to process it all. So we're gonna head home and get comfortable for the night. Lonzi just got off work. He had to work all day today. He just got off work. Um, they're gonna try to launch another radio station and all that as well. So he's got a lot he's doing. And as a mom, that's going to put more on me. But that's okay. You know what? It's all right. I knew. I know that he's a busy man. I love him with all my heart. He's everything to me. So, you know, that's the way it is. It's life, people. So, we just got to do what we have to do and stay strong and be the best we can be. Um, Josh said that he may vlog some of the trips so you may see some of his stuff on the trip. So, uh, you may see him do a house tour. Hopefully, we will see a house tour. So, anyway, church was good. We had a good meal. Good service and everything. Church preached. <clears throat> and the new church that we're going to be going to, <clears throat> they need a preacher and... Matt and Trent are going to do it. So I'm really proud of them. Um, so we're really excited about that. <clears throat> I um, packed stuff all day. Like I said, I've been packing all day long. I got up at 5 o'clock this morning when um, Lonzi woke me up because they woke him up. And he told him to wake me up. So I got up and started working on that. <clears throat> they woke up at 6 having a real off time, you know. So, I just picked up the kids' meds from Dr. Gower Nathan. That's been done. They upped the meds a little bit, which is fine. Um, it's what you have to do. You have to do what you have to do, you know. Wait it is. Anyway, guys, today is not a long vlog. I do apologize for that. I may join this with another vlog. But for now, I'll see you later today or tomorrow. Love y'all. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Rocky here. I'm awake.
Wegmans. Let's go shopping. Dana's with me. It is 6.30 in the morning. Kids are at home asleep with Blondie and Richard home. I am just here with Dane. He woke up and he's like, Mom, I'll go with you. So I'm like, okay. Catch up. So we are here at Wegmans and it's already busy this morning. I'm tired. I did not sleep well last night. It was a really rough night for me. I did not sleep at all hardly. I, you know, kept thinking about things I have to pack, things I have to do, medical appointments I have to make. Ugh. Things were crazy yesterday. So I have to get fish sticks because Kyle wants fish sticks. So let's see. Mrs. Paul is what I want. Yes. Hash browns and sausage. And we have free tuna strips and a chicken strips and bacon. Here we go. Bacon, chicken strips. So I also need apple juice because our kids drink a lot of apple juice. They love it. And what I've started doing is, um, because that way kids like, you know, Kyle can serve himself apple juice, is I'll put it in the cooler with ice over it, and then they can just press a button and get it out. And it takes up more apple juice that way, but you know what? Our kids love it, so. Yeah. Oh, so I have to get more body armor for Lonzy because he loves body armor. Also got some bird's eye vegetables because our kids love it and it goes well in any kind of soups. Okay. Chicken nuggets. There's a good free variety. Good. That's what James likes. Okay. Chicken nuggets done. Also need to get some queso because our friends go through queso like crazy. Okay. So that's got some milk as well because our kids we love milk at our house. I'm also going to get some more cauliflower because I already went through my pet, my crust. So, let me get that again. <clears throat> I'm also going to get some fallow, fallow dough because we're going to make some spinach pie this week. Our kids love that. Where's the fallow dough? Where's the fallow dough? There it is. Okay. Good fellow dough got. Already got spending set. Oh, we got from Aldi. <clears throat> the good thing about Manchester is they have an Aldi. Woohoo! Yay, so I'm happy. <clears throat> now I've got to get some. Um, yogurts because our kids go through yogurts so I'm gonna get that there we go and the twins want fluff again so because it is gluten free I'll allow it Um, luckily for me, Rich makes the fluff stuff because I just, since three wise, I have to just kind of take it on the spoon. Or I have to just spread it because I can't spin it, touch it. Ew. I need peanut butter as well because we are out of peanut butter. Well, no, we're not, but I want to get one more. I also got some Gatorade that I ordered um, that 
Um, Dane picked up from Walmart for me and all that. I got chips um, pretty much out the butt because I ordered a bunch on Amazon. So that that got here. Um, that should get here today. This is the ninth time I've tried to record this. Every time I try to record, someone calls me, and it's like it's frustrating. So, yeah. Okay. I'll try to do all this in one card if I possibly can. <clears throat> Where is the queso? Oh yes, and I also ordered myself some Fred A tortillas. The yeah, tortilla chips, those things are so good. Love them, and I ordered some. Okay. Cheese sticks. These are gluten free. Oh, and Ezra is into a like these little sticks of cheese you can unwrap, and they're, they're all just cheese. So I got like five boxes of these because he really loves those. They're as good as his string cheese, which he loves. I also got that too. Also got some pepperoni for the charcuterie board and olives for rich. Okay. Free bread, some croissants. These are gluten free as well. Oh my god, it's getting busy in here, guys. I want to get out here before it gets real bad. And there we go. Also, want to get some tomatoes because Lonzi likes um Lonzi oh, oh. Worst likes tomato sandwiches sometimes, so we get that for him. Everything is good at your friendly Wegman store. Oh, these are picked over. I do not like when they're picked over. Steaks. So a steak night tomorrow night. On the black stone. Steak night on the black stone. We're having taco bowls tonight, probably. Okay. Spaghetti meatballs. I get these little grab and go cans because our kids love those. There's my prego. I love prego because it's like the best. Um, it's like herbs instead of like a whole lot of rich stuff. Also need to get some no, I want to get him some ravioli that I make homemade. There it is.
Here we go. Oh, shut up, thing. Paper towels. Because we use loads of paper towels in our house. Also got ham, turkey, bologna, and cheese. And I also got chicken. Uh, it's like uh, deli meat chicken. Um, because one of my sons likes the deli meat chicken. So, ow! Oh, these are on sale. These Fair Day Tostitos, huh? Look at these. Although I'm getting some on Amazon too, but these are on sale, so I'm gonna get these. Edit mode. Ah. Well, my Fair Day Tostitos are my lunch. What do you know? I found a root for you uh, option. Woohoo! Gluten-free corn chips. And these big boxes of, uh, like, the variety chips that are gluten-free. And Breeze Goldfish. Breeze Muffin Bites. We're out of Muffin Bites, and she is not happy when we have no Muffin Bites. Gluten-free butter bars. Tower bars. These are protein bars that Rich likes. And I finally found some for him. Nature Valley bars. Nature bars. These are completely gluten-free, and Rich likes them. Okay, tuna fish. All right. More tuna fish. I also need chicken broth and cream of chicken for the soup I'm making this week. Also got some French cut green beans. I love these kind. They're my favorite. Keurig pods, K pods, brush, K cups. Of course, Lonzi has foyers too, which I think just came. Water. Now we get the Bowling Spring and we also get Fiji. And then we also get um, uh, Dane only drinks Aquafina, so I have to get Aquafina for Dane. That's all he ever drinks is Aquafina. So I got these on sale. Woohoo! On me. Uh, card two, guys. Didn't want to have to do that, but we're going to have to. Okay. We need some more apple juice boxes. I'll get these. Also need some more Danimal, Danimal smoothies for Mark. He loves those so much. They're healthy anyway. And I also forgot some of the yogurt that I have to have. Also, Mark is going through a phase of spaghetti on needs, so I'm gonna have that. Spaghetti for pasta night. 
and also Alfredo. Cause I have to make a batch for Sissy cause she eats a lot of Alfredo. Things are crazy in here. I'm sweaty too. Also need coffee creamer. Cause we are out. Lonzi used the last of it. And oh, angel hair pasta, yay. Food free too. Okay. These are tortellini noodles, which I also love to make. I'm just gonna stock up on some of this stuff because it's like on sale. So I'm just gonna stock up on some of it. Because. Fluff. I got like two human, like three human stars of fluff because they have it on sale. I don't know how my kids didn't eat that stuff, but I, ugh. Okay. Also, I need to get apples and applesauce. Cause, oh crap, I almost forgot about the applesauce, you guys. Gotta have applesauce. Our kids love applesauce. Like, they do. They love it. The, uh, okay, the cup ones and the pouch ones. I also need to get a couple of, a few cups of the oranges, um, because, um, Jamie requested oranges, so I'm gonna get the cup of them because he can't peel an orange, so. I'm gonna get cups of oranges because it's just easier. Orange cups, check! And these are the Yo Crunch. But I found a gluten free version. That's hard to find, too. Hmm. Okay, good. They can have it. It's gluten free. Good. Okay. Have to check all these labels now. Oh. oh okay. Okay, now I need. I also I'm shopping for Sissy too. I to get her some pot pies, and I'm gonna cheat because I'm getting quite long these some quad night bars. Although he doesn't, they're gonna eat them as much now. But I'm still gonna get some more for him because he loves them. He hasn't had one in a while. I'm also gonna get these little juice bars for the kids. These are gluten free too. You guys are tired. Ugh. These popsicles, the kids love these. Let's see. Trying to get the right ones. Okay. Cheese sticks, I finally found the right cheese sticks I really wanted. Give that feedback to those. I'm also getting snacks for when we drive down and food for when we drive down to New York in three weeks. Hamburger meat. I also get this meat mix, this, uh, what do they call it? Meat mix, meat, uh, loaf mix, what, well, I don't know. It's like hamburger meat with pork and veal in it, it's really good. Veal patties, because our kids love veal patties. Oh, these are going for you. Good. Now, because we're doing this, I'm going to check labels on everything. Hot dogs, because we make a hot dog casserole, our kids really love. And I also need cure of wheat because we have a child who 
needs to eat. Stuff like that. Okay, here's cheese cubes. It's like the alternative of cream of wheat. Like a, the alternative for it. It's a gluten free version of cream of wheat. So. Okay, I couldn't get that, so I decided to get this gluten free oatmeal for him. He likes it too, so. Oh. So I couldn't get his cream of wheat, which he's not gonna like, but I did find this alternative for him. Okay, I need. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, um. I need coffee for the pot, the big pot. I usually get the breakfast blend, the morning blend. <clears throat> it's really good. Oh my gosh, you guys, my brain is like, ugh. ugh I'm just tired, y'all. <clears throat> okay, I also need to get some sandwich cheese. And these cheese, whole cheese sticks for Ezra. He loves these. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, Dad! scared me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm home. My dad's smoking behind me and scared me. In the store, so. I'm home. I'm exhausted, but I'm home. So I got the kids' lunches packed and all that. They're getting their breakfast now. Mar uh, Nate was happy. He's like, my, my French toast sticks, mommy. Yes, your French toast sticks. So I'm just putting things away and all that. I got some more space bags um, that Rich picked up for me from Walmart, which I really appreciated. Oh my gosh, my eyes. And my cubes, my um, organization cubes came today. Yay on that. So I'm happy then. So I'm just going to clean my house, get the kids off to school, and do more packing. Which, guys, I'm honestly going to tell you, I dread. I hate packing. Hate it. These drawers are heavy. Mm. Also got some more pickles and olives for the shark bird. Our kids love uh, pickles. And we're telling the olives, so I got those. Jamie was not happy because I couldn't get the cream of wheat heel ups, but because it has gluten in it, I couldn't do it. Let me see something. However, he does like grits, and I got him grits, and he can have that, so. <sighs> you know, shopping anymore is very stressful because I have to look at every single label. Is this gluten free? Is that gluten free? It's, it's frustrating. Honestly, it is. But it's worth it because our kids are safe, so. Oh my goodness, I'm tired you guys, I'm so tired. <sighs> Lonzy's still asleep, I haven't gotten him up yet. I need to get him up pretty soon, let see. Gotta go to a meeting. <clears throat> I tried him in today. And then he's gotta go to, ow! Uh, he gotta do, go do a run, so. I also got some VA juice. Um, we have two new daughters that just came this morning. Gypsy Lynn and Scarlett. I may change Scarlett's name because I'm barely saying her name right. It comes out wrong every time I try to say Scarlett, so. Um. All the stuff away, all this Gatorades and stuff I got. <clears throat> I squeaked. I also stopped by the Dollar Tree and got a few things. I just didn't film it. I should have, but I didn't. Uh, my travel items and like little plastic cups and things. Oh 
juveniles are coming. They itch and they burn. They drive me nuts. Yeah, 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 tired. Anyway, I got stuff for Taco Bell tonight. I'm gonna make Taco Bells. I'm just, uh, this whole moon thing is gonna be stressed out. Honestly, it does. So this is what I got for Jamie. He does like them. He's eating them right now. I'm eating them. He likes them. Um, I'm just putting things away. These are almond butter, gluten-free almond butter bars. Our kids love these. Orange juice and apple juice. Okay, Scarlett, here's your apple juice, honey. I mean, orange juice, sorry, baby. So, Neil say that um, I'm pretty tired from my shopping. It's a workout on its own. Well, I'm just gonna go to the gym first and then he's gonna go to his meeting. I have a lot I gotta do. I gotta do more packing and things. I dread it because it takes me forever to do all the packing and all that, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm also going to do intense therapy, intensive therapy with Daniel when he gets home today. Because I'm actually going to do it probably before he leaves because it's just easier to do that. Hopefully we'll do that before he goes because it'll be just easier to do. Dave was sweet enough to load all the stuff for me and bring it in the house on the um, grocery wagon. So, yay on that. Okay, Bubba, let's show off what you know. Raise your legs. Good job, Bubba. You're doing so good. Good boy. Here's your arms. Good job. Good job, Bubba. <laughs> The hardest thing is, is getting him to do some of the stuff, but he does okay. Hey, you doing good? Good job, Baba. Good boy. So doing our exercises. Good job, buddy. Do your walking feet. There you go. Good job, Baba. <clears throat> so proud of you, kid. Hey guys, I got the kids off to school and now it's time to start packing more stuff. And guys, I'm just gonna tell you this closet right here, I don't even look at it. It's like our coats and extra things that we have. I 
And I gotta pack all this in space bags. My cubes came today, which is awesome. I'm really happy about that. I kept um, Gypsy and Scarlet at home because um, they just were gonna be moving anyway, so I just kept them home. They're playing, um, Scarlet's in her gate trainer, and Gypsy's in her wheelchair, playing with her puppy. So I'm just gonna do what I can to show you guys all this crap I gotta pack up in here. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, this is such a mess. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> So this is Gypsy's new coat that I got her. This is Scarlett's new coat. Um, we had to get a new a wheelchair for both Scarlett and Gypsy because Scarlett's wheelchair fell apart. Gypsy's wheelchair was already apart. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I'm deciding what to take down and all that stuff. I've also got to get um, the kids some fidget toys to play with so that they have. I'll put Gypsy just now in her gate trainer. So hopefully she will like that. Okay, so the kids are occupied right now. Um, we're just playing with them in the gate trainers. So these are my cube organizers and these are the space bags I got today. Y'all, these space bags save me so much storage room. Like, it's awesome. <clears throat> okay. So, pardon this noise in the background. Um, <clears throat> um, oh my goodness. We just got something on in there. My eyes are bothering me. Ugh. So I'm just packing all that I can today. I'm just going day by day. I've been doing a lot of packing into like Ghibli bags or space bags. Um, or these bins. Got cubes. Especially when it comes to like um, suits, like Lonzi suits. These space bags are awesome for his suits. Oh. So Scarlet has um, cerebral palsy seizures, autism, and she was on a feeding tube, but now she's not. Um, Gypsy is on a feeding tube only at night right now. We're hoping they fix that. And then she has, <clears throat> um, she has CP, autism, seizures, and she also doesn't walk at all. So I'm just putting everything I can in these bags here and just try to get everything packed up that I can. It is not an easy thing to pack all this stuff up. The kids are all doing good at school right now. 
Um, I've just been packing all I can. And medical supplies, I'm supposed to get supplies today. We'll see what really happens, but um, sometimes they don't get, they don't deliver on time, so we'll see. Whether they think or not. <clears throat> These are packed. Good. Dane's upstairs cranking music. He doesn't really feel that great today. His back's been ringing back. So he's home. He's got music cranked in up there. Where's this suitcase packed up? <clears throat> See, all these space bags fit so perfectly in there, all the clothes and everything. Love space bags. I swear by them, you guys. They're awesome to have. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm tired, y'all. I'm so, so tired. Scarlet, you playing? Yeah, you're your gate trainer, huh? Good job, sweetie. Bye. So I'm just putting all the rest of the stuff in here that goes in here. This is Gypsy's medical bag. She has to have a medical bag with her at all times because of her medical problems. So her medical bag. This is Scarlett's medical bag. These have to be with her at all times from what Jewel just said. <clears throat> it's medical bags. Um, these medical bags are big, like they roll. That's how big they are. So we'll just put them in. The <coughs> I like the belly of the motorhome. What's up with you? <coughs> This is Daniel's medical bag. Kyle's medical bag with, with diapers. Abby's diaper bag. <clears throat> Ian's medical and diaper bag. These are all medical things that I'm packing up for the kids that need them. So what we do with all the medical bags is, <clears throat> now that we have these storage cubes, like these organization cubes, we put all the stuff in these little cubes and then put it in there. So this is Gypsy's right here. That's Gypsy's bag. And this one right here is Scarlet's bag. That's what it looks like. It's pretty cool, huh? It's very efficient. <clears throat> Let's go clean the bedrooms. Okay, I just had the kids' lunch. Girl's tired, huh? Lay down, take a nap. So they both need sleep safe beds. I had to get a whole Triton to actually get that delivered for me because I had not a good enough sleep safe bed for them. Okay, sweetheart. There we go, honey. You tired? Incoming call. Haley vote. Haley decline button. Pause button. So I got a call again. Hello, Miss Kitty. So I got the care the girls put down for the naps. I had to give Gypsy her afternoon medication through her feeding tube because it's just easier. Um, she eats caperms at night, but during the day she eats like caper stuff. <clears throat> I am so tired. I took like a 20 minute nap. 
And I got up and started working with this stuff again, so. I'm tired. I'm not cool with it, but. Yeah. So, Lindsay called me. <clears throat> Josh, um. We closed in our house. Woo woo! Which we were, I mean, Rich was going to anyway. That's why he went, we went up there to measure us through, because. Which one did that house he looked at? So, we closed on it. We're gonna close on it. Um, we're just to fly up there on Wednesday of next, no, Tuesday of next week to, to do the rest of it. So, he's gonna fly up there and then fly back home. So, that's what's going on, you guys. Now, I'm gonna pass you over to Josh so he can tell you what's going on with the house. Maybe you'll get to see a little freak preview, hmm? Huh? Almost to the new house. It is a very nice place. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff done. Uh, David is already there now, putting things away for us. Uh, Uncle Rich just came down for what Mom just said. Uncle Rich is coming down to foreclose on it. Or, not foreclose, close on it. Uh, <clears throat> but then he was able to do it online, so. He's, it's already closed on, so mom didn't know. So, uh, this U-Haul truck is humongous. It's a lot of stuff in it, but, um, anyway. Uh, we've been driving for 25 hours straight. Uh, me and, uh, Alex and our brother Max, who came to help. So, yeah, um... I'm driving now. They're sleeping. And Lane and they were going to come and help, but they're going to come and help on the other load. So, Dane was helping Mom this morning, but Dean came with me. So, Dean's back there, too. <clears throat> and, uh, Steven and, uh, Tyrez and Kip were, are also helping out. So, yeah. Uh, God, these roads are bumpy. Anyway. I'm tired. I haven't had much sleep. <sighs> I went and got breakfast this morning a little bit ago. I hop and all that. So, <clears throat> I may do a home tour tomorrow, but when we get there, I plan to rest because I've been driving since like 3 o'clock this morning. It's now like uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm really tired. Um, so Uncle Rich is able to close out online. Yay. On Zoom. <clears throat> so he does not have to fly up here to do it, which is nice because it helps. It gives us a chance to unload things, put things away. Uh, we already got the key to it, so. Anyway, we're just driving along here. But about 20 miles ago, we'll be there. Uh,. So, yeah. <clears throat> I am very tired, though, guys. I'm just going to tell you flat out, I'm very tired. Um, and we still got more to take down, so we got one more truckload. Well, actually, a few more truckloads to take down that Mom's got to pack the rest of the, the other big trucks that we got to take down, so. We're going to bring this back, drop it off, and then we go pick up the other truckloads, so. Lane and Dane are going to come on with us for that one because they're going to have to help with the, we're going to need Dane's heft, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just tired. I just need some rest. But I'll do a, tr a tour tomorrow, guys. I'm just, I'm going to get there and probably go lay down in the back for a while while they unload stuff because I'm pretty tired. Anyway, here's Mom. Throw more stuff in the camper, in the hold of the U-Haul. It's a lot. All this stuff goes in the U-Haul. In the hold. Kids are home from school. Hi, you guys. <coughs> Hi. You should go home. Have a good day, huh? 
I'm exhausted. Well, I'm gonna go inside and get my bites, okay? Come on, guys. Let's go. Here's our concern, kids. Hi, guys. Good day, huh? <clears throat> Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. Here's our Christian kids. Hey guys. Oh, hey Tempe. Did you have a good day? Oh, Y'all, I'm so tired. Oh. Okay guys, let's go inside. Hey guys, so I just got dinner done. The kids are about to sit down to dinner. Y'all, I am so worn out. So, I'm just going to take a night now, um, because I'm just really, really tired. It's been a very long day for our family. I'm just ready to just call it a night. So, I'm just going to relax my kids and just call it a night. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching a two-day vlog. Love y'all. Good night.